If you're a hockey fan like me, you might have felt that at some point you could do a better job drafting than the general manager of your favorite NHL team. But drafting is an exact science for every late round gem, think Igor Sesterkin or Kirill Kaprizov. There's a high pick who didn't turn out to be the star of the team that picked him thought he would be. Think Nolan Patrick or now Yakupov. There's a high pick who didn't turn out to be the star of the team that picked him thought he would be. Think Nolan Patrick or now Yakupov. Here's a look at some of the best choices in the last decade of the NHL draft from 2012 to 2022 as determined where they are selected. Grab your popcorn because this is going to be a long one. We will start things off with the 32nd overall pick. Selected 32nd overall in the 2015 NHL Draft by the Arizona Coyotes, Christian Fisher. Fisher has managed to have a pretty respectable career with the Arizona Coyotes. After making his NHL debut during the 2016-17 season, the Chicago native became a regular NHL player in the 2017-18 season. That season, he put up his career best 33 points in 79 games but has managed since to score under 20 points this season. Fisher is now on his sixth season with the Arizona Coyotes. Selected 31st overall by the Buffalo Sabres in the 2014 NHL Draft, Brandon Lemieux. Since making his NHL debut with the Winnipeg Jets during the 2017-18 season, Lemieux has become a serviceable bottom six player in the NHL. He's had stints with the Jets, Rangers, and Kings. The gritty winger has also over 300 penalty minutes and 17 fighting majors in the NHL. Los Angeles Kings are proud to select from the Barry Colts of the Ontario Hockey League, Tanner Pearson. Although the 29th overall pick hasn't been great, the 30th overall pick brought a number of solid NHLers into the league. Leading the pack is Tanner Pearson. He made his NHL regular season debut during the 2013-14 season and ended up being a part of the Kings Stanley Cup winning team, where he put up 12 points in 24 games. Four seasons later, Pearson got off to a rough start with the Kings in the 2018-19 season that saw him only manage one assist for 17 games. He ended up getting traded twice that season, first to the Pittsburgh Penguins and then to the Vancouver Canucks. His career season came in the 2019-20 season where he put up 45 points in 69 games, he remains with the Canucks to this day. And with our first selection from Moto Sweden, Adrian Kempe. Adrian Kempe became a full-time NHLer in the 2017-18 season where he put up 16 goals and 37 points in 81 games. The 2021-22 season would be a breakout year for Adrian Kempe who posted new career highs scoring 35 goals and 54 points in 78 games. In that season, he would also participate in his first NHL All-Star game held in Las Vegas. He was the only player from the Canes named an All-Star that season. The Islanders de New York sont fiers de repêcher. The Islanders are proud to select from Shawinigan. Anthony Beauvillier. As an undersized but highly skilled forward, there were expectations that Anthony Beauvillier would break into the NHL, but it was difficult to project how much of an impact he would for the team that drafted him. Over his NHL career, he's developing into a great middle six player for the New York Islanders. While he hasn't broke 40 points scored yet, he has the toolkit and ceiling of a 20 goal, 50 point player if he's able to take that next step in his NHL career. Tampa selects from Moose Jaw, Brett Howden. The 27th overall pick has not been great throughout the last 10 years, but out of the choices, Brett Howden stands out for now. Even though he was drafted by the Tampa Bay Lightning, he never played a single game with the team as he was traded to the New York Rangers. Howden made his NHL debut in the 2018-19 season and finished his rookie season with 23 points in 66 games. Howden was traded to the Vegas Golden Knights in 2021 for a fourth round draft pick and remains with the team today. From Boston University, Jake Ottinger. The Dallas Stars traded a first and third round pick to the Chicago Blackhawks in the 2017 NHL Draft to move up three spots to select Jake Ottinger. While there is usually only one goalie taken in the first round every year at the draft, Ottinger was the guy in 2017 after a remarkable freshman season with Boston University. In his second NHL season, Ottinger had 30 wins and broke out during the Stanley Cup playoffs with a .954 save percentage while facing 
in 40.7 shots on goal in 7 games in the Western Conference first round against the Calgary Flames. Best available Washington for our list at this point. From Sweden, David Pasternak. Hands down the best 25th overall selection in the last 10 years could be bordering on all time actually. Pasternak has established himself as one of the most lethal goal scorers in the NHL today. Pasternak has almost scored 300 goals in the NHL and he has scored 30 or more in 5 of the last 6 seasons. Somehow fallen to the bottom of the first round, Pasternak may have been a late bloomer as he was not a superstar goal scorer in Sweden during his draft year. Recording only 8 goals and 24 points in 36 games, every scout dismissed him as a top 15 pick which he certainly is now. If the 2014 draft was redone today, he would easily go top 5, no question about it. Philadelphia selects from Ottawa, the Ontario Hockey League, Travis Konechny. It's safe to say that the Philadelphia Flyers got a steal with Travis Konechny dropping to 24th overall. He stepped right into the NHL after a very successful career in the OHL playing for the Ottawa 67s in a brief stint with the Sarnia Sting. As I record this video, he's played the 7th most games and has the 8th most points of his draft class. A class that saw names like Noah Hannafin, Kyle Connor, and Lawson Krause taken ahead of him. He has 3 seasons scoring 24 goals and 2 seasons scoring 11 goals. The Flyers core is getting a bit long in the tooth and it seems like they have a new wave of youth coming up, which could make for a changing of the guard. If this is the case, expect Konecki to have many more strong years with the Philadelphia Flyers, especially in the future as he is signed for the 2024-25 season at a very fair $5.5 million cap hit. Vancouver select from Waterloo of the USHL, Brock Besser. Few players make an immediate impact on the NHL like Vancouver's Brock Besser. In the 2017-18 season, which is his rookie season, he scored 55 points in 62 games. He was an all-rookie and as well as making the All-Star game. While injuries have slowed down his overall production, he is still one of the most talented scorers in the league with a 20 goal per season floor that any team would love to add to their roster. Rangers select from the USA Development Program, Keandre Miller. Two NCAA seasons with the Wisconsin Badgers and two World Junior appearances later, Miller signed his entry-level contract in March of 2020 and made the Rangers out of training camp. He had a solid rookie season registering 12 points in 53 games for the Rangers and made the NHL's all-rookie team. An excellent young defenseman, any team would want to have him on their roster. St. Louis Blues are proud to select from the OHL London Knights, Robert Thomas. Robbie Favre made his NHL debut with the St. Louis Blues in the 2015-16 season and proceeded to have a breakout rookie season by scoring 37 points in 72 games. His speed got him a regular spot in the Blues top 6 and a trusted position on the team. And it wasn't until he was traded to the Detroit Red Wings that he got his career back on track. Over three seasons with the Red Wings, he scored 41 goals in a total of 79 points in 138 games. St. Louis Blues are proud to select from Guelph of the Ontario Hockey League, Robbie Fabry. A Stanley Cup champion before he was 20 years old, the tenacious Robert Thomas was lucky enough to be a part of the St. Louis Blues when they made that magical run in the 2018-19 season. He wasn't just a bench warmer either, he was a part of their bottom six that helped drive their success as a four-line team after a swan song in the OHL that saw him split the 2017-18 season between the London Knights and the Hamilton Bulldogs. Making the Blues straight out of training camp, he finished his rookie season with 9 goals, 33 points in 70 games, and 1 goal in 6 points while helping the St. Louis Blues win their first Stanley Cup in 2019. Surprise me off, they got a goalie. Tampa selects from Ufa, Andre Vasilevsky. The Tampa Bay Lightning hit a home run with this pick in 2012, selecting goaltender Andre Vasilevsky, who would become their starting netminder. Looking back, he was definitely the steal of the draft at 19th overall. 
He led the NHL in wins in the 2017-18 season and in the 2018-19 season, winning the Vezina Trophy as the NHL's best goalie in 2019. Along with this, he's captured two Stanley Cups, reached the Stanley Cup Finals four times in his young career, and even took home the 2021 Conn Smythe Trophy as postseason MVP. Needless to say, this has already been a Hall of Fame worthy career and there's still so much left to be told in his story. Vasilevsky has the opportunity to go down as the greatest Russian goalie in NHL history. He is on a stacked Tampa Bay Lightning team that looks set for years and is on pace to break out gaining the Bokov's win record by a Russian goalie by 2026. The Ottawa Senators are proud to select the Senator d'Ottawa son fier de choisir from the St. John Sea Dogs, Thomas Chabot. The pride of Canada's capital, Thomas Chabot, took over the number one defenseman spot after the Ottawa Senators traded Eric Carlson and ran with it. He's become one of the best players on the rebuilding Ottawa Senators and proved that when he crossed 55 points, his career best in the 2018-19 season. For the last few years, he has trouble remaining healthy because mainly of the heavy minutes he's consuming. There were nights that he played over 30 minutes of ice time. Shabbat will become more dominant with the Senators' young pieces, and I could see a Norris Trophy in his future. The Winnipeg Jets are proud to select from the USHL Youngstown, Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor is another player who we're starting to see reach his peak. He's improving every season, becoming a core member of the Winnipeg Jets lineup. Connor is a four-time 30-goal scorer. The 25-year-old has also shown he is a true goal scorer and will be for years to come. After posting 47 goals and 93 points throughout the 2021-22 season, he cemented himself as a superstar in the NHL. The New York Islanders are proud to select from the Seattle Thunderbirds, Matthew Barzal. Normally this pick would slide by and be written off as a good pick by the Islanders, and it truly was. Barzell had one of the best rookie seasons in recent memory. In the 2017-18 season, he had 22 goals and 85 points in 82 games, winning the Calder Trophy and becoming the fifth Islanders player to win the award. He followed that up with back-to-back 60-point -back seasons in the 2018-19 and 2019-20 seasons. He's led the Islanders in scoring since his rookie season and has been a huge part of the Islanders turnaround. He recently signed an 8-year, $73.2 million contract extension with the Islanders. Right in Detroit. Detroit Red Wings select the U.S. National Development Program and Dylan Larkin. For now, the 2014-15 overall pick from the Detroit Red Wings has a firm grasp on this spot. Dylan Larkin and his speed have become one of the best forwards in the NHL despite playing on a poor Red Wings team in recent years. He posted 31 goals and 69 points in the 2021-22 season, totals that should only increase as the team around him improves. With players such as Moritz Seider and Lucas Raymond, the Red Wings have a bright future ahead of them. With the 14th pick, the Boston Bruins select Boston University Terrier Charlie McAvoy. The Boston Bruins should try to get the 14th overall pick more often. The top 10 picks of the 2016 NHL Draft included star talent like Austin Matthews, Matthew Kachuk, Patrick Laine, and Mikhail Sirkachev among other young players who already put together solid NHL resumes. When the Bruins selected McAvoy 14th overall, they knocked one out of the park. Outside the top 10 selections, McAvoy has outperformed every other draft pick taken in the rest of the first round. He finished 4th in Norris Trophy voting in the 2021-22 season and legit arguments for him as the winner can be made because of the overall value he brought to the Bruins. 13. Vegas Golden Knights are pleased to select from Owen Sound, Nick Suzuki. With their second of three first round picks in their first NHL draft, the Vegas Golden Knights took a chance on the undersized yet highly skilled forward Nick Suzuki. In 2018, Nick Suzuki was traded to the Montreal Canadiens before he even played a single game for the Vegas Golden Knights. Despite the Canadiens being terrible in the 2021-22 season, he still posted 21 goals and 61 points and he's only 22 years years old. So there's a lot of room for the Canadiens captain to continue developing into a star. The Phoenix Coyotes are proud to select 
from the London Knights, the OHL, Max Domi. Before being drafted in the 2013 NHL Draft, Max Domi had been to two straight Memorial Cups with the London Knights. Although he never won the championship, he showed well registering six points in nine games over two years. Domi has bounced around the league with stops in Arizona, Montreal, Columbus, Carolina, and as of the 2022-23 season, Chicago. He has shown he can be a number one center. Washington Capitals are pleased to select from Lexan Sweden, Philip Forsberg. There's no question that Philip Forsberg has been the best 11th overall pick from the last 10 years. The Capitals looked to have struck gold until they traded Forsberg to the Nashville Predators in the 2012-2013 season. Forsberg would immediately find success with the Nashville Predators since that trade. In the 2014-15 season, he notched 63 points and finished 4th in Calder Trophy voting. He's been a stable 60-point producer and has reached the 25-goal mark six times in his NHL career. It's safe to say that if the 2012 draft would have been redone today, Forsberg could have easily have found himself in the top three of that draft. Colorado Avalanche are proud to select from TPS Turco, Miko Rantanen. Despite such a high selection in the draft, the 10th overall selection was littered with misses throughout the last 10 years. However, one star eventually broke through, Miko Rantanen of the Colorado Avalanche. At 6'4", 209 pounds, he was an imposing force who played hockey against grown men in Finland since he was 16 years old. While there were some questions about if he could translate his size to the ice, the raw talent was more than enough for the Colorado Avalanche to take a shot on him with the 10th overall pick. Needless to say, this pick was a pure win for the Avalanche. After posting 38 points in his rookie season, Rantanen scored 80 plus points in both the 2017-18 and the 2018-19 seasons. While Rantanen has been bitten by the injury bug throughout his career, he will continue to be one of the dominant forwards in the NHL as long as he can stay healthy. With the young stable talent around him, they helped the Colorado Avalanche win the Stanley Cup in 2022. We'll see. With the ninth selection, Anaheim was proud to select from the USA Development Program, Trevor Ziegler. The ninth overall pick is surprisingly competitive as there have been a number of extremely talented players both on offense and defense selected at this spot. For now though, Ducks forward Trevor Zagaris takes the ninth overall spot of the last 10 years. Zagaris is now considered by many as one of the best up-and-coming players in the NHL today. Likely the Ducks' top-line center for the next decade or so, he is ready to take over from the former captain Ryan Getzlaff as the face of the team. Highly skilled at almost everything, he could even win the Selkie Award one day. Columbus Blue Jackets are proud to select from University of Michigan, Jack Wierenski. In another draft, Zach Wierenski may have been a top five pick, but because his draft class happened to be one of the deeper ones in recent memory, the Blue Jackets made it out like gangbusters drafted him at eighth overall. Wierenski made his NHL debut in the 2016-17 season and notched 47 points in 78 games good enough to be nominated for the Calder Trophy. Wierenski has become a reliable all-situations defenseman who is capable of 40 points, he was awarded for his efforts in Columbus with a six-year, $9.5 million contract extension. It's safe to say that the Jackets are happy with their pick and plan on keeping him around for a long time. Vancouver selects from the University of Michigan, Quinn Hughes. Hughes is the best player selected in this position. Hughes dropping to the Canucks changed the structure of their defensive core forever. He was nominated for the Calder Trophy in the 2019-20 season, but Kale McCarr was too electric to be stopped and won the award. He had his career year in the 2021-22 season by scoring 68 points in 76 games. Hughes is a difference maker who is setting a high standard for what offensive-minded defensemen could be. With the sixth pick in the draft, the Detroit Red Wings select from Mannheim of the DEL, 
Moritz Sider. I know there's going to be lots of people in the comment section below saying why I didn't put Matt Kachuk for the 6th overall pick, but hear me out, alright? Moritz Sider is already, if not, one of the best young defensemen in the entire NHL. In his rookie season with the Detroit Red Wings, Moritz Sider scored 50 points and became just the 5th defenseman to win the Calder Trophy in the past 20 years. Sider has a long way to go in his NHL career, but producing an award-winning season in his first professional year certainly sets the bar high, especially for a future Norris winner. And with our first selection, we select from Tamara Elias Peterson. Frankly, the Vancouver Canucks got an absolute steal in the 2017 NHL Draft at the fifth overall spot with the selection of Elias Peterson. In 2017, the talk of the draft was the Heischler Patrick debate for the top pick of the draft. But the best forward of the draft was picked three slots later. Elias Patterson has bloomed into one of the best players in the NHL and shows no signs of slowing down. In his first NHL season, he put up 66 points to win the Calder Trophy, becoming the first Canucks player to win the award since Pavel Bury won it in 1992. Colorado Avalanche are proud to select from Brooks their Alberta Junior Hockey League, Cale McCarr. McCarr joined the Colorado Avalanche for the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs where he played 10 games and posted 6 points. Following the strong start, he went on to win the 2020 Calder Trophy as the top rookie in the NHL by producing 50 points in 57 games. In the 2021-22 season, he went on to dominate the league en route to winning his first Norris Trophy by producing 86 points in 77 games. Finally, he capped everything off by claiming the 2022 Stanley Cup and winning the Conn Smythe Trophy. Needless to say, this pick will be a defining moment for the Avalanche over the next decade plus. Somehow, by falling down the draft board, the Avs were able to still claim the best player of the 2017 NHL Draft. The Edmonton Oilers are very pleased to select from the Western Hockey League, Prince Albert Raiders, Leon Dreisaitl. The Oilers struck gold when drafting Leon Dreisaitl third overall in the 2014 NHL Draft. Since joining the Oilers, Dreisaitl has been a top-end scorer and playmaker only being overshadowed by the generational talent that is Connor McDavid. The 2018-19 season was Dreisaitl's best yet with a 50-goal, 105-point campaign that showcased him as one of the league's best players. He followed that up with a monster 110-point campaign in the COVID-shortened 2019-2020 season, which earned earned him the Hart Trophy, the Ted Lindsay Award, and the Art Ross Trophy. The future is bright for this German All-Star who will continue to be one of the faces of the Oilers' return to glory. The Florida Panthers are proud to select from Tampira, Finland, Alexander Barkov. Well, it was a bit of a surprise when the Florida Panthers drafted Alex Barkov second overall in the 2013 NHL Draft. The Finnish forward has developed into one of the premier talents in the NHL. Over the course of his NHL career, Barkov has become one of the top players at his position. Despite injury struggles, he put up 7 straight 50-point seasons including a career year in the 2020-21 season. In that season, he posted 26 goals and 58 points in 50 games played en route to winning the 2021 Selkie Award. With talented players around him in Florida, everything is in place for Barkov to continue dominating the league. If he can stay healthy, the Panthers captain will be a force on the ice for years to come. Being said, the Edmonton Oilers would like to select with their first pick from the Erie Otters, Connor McDavid. Since entering the NHL, Connor McDavid has been a human highlight reel, showcasing his shot, hands, power, and most of all, superhuman speed. He's a generational player if there ever was one. At the young age of 25, Connor McDavid is already a part of the 700 point club. He has a full trophy case that includes two Hart trophies, three Ted Lindsay awards, four Art Ross trophies, and is a five-time NHL All-Star. He was the youngest captain in Oilers history and has posted five 100-point seasons in his NHL career and more will be on the way. So there you have it. The best top 32 picks of the NHL draft for the last 10 years from 2012 to 2022. Who do you love? Who shouldn't be there? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.